The funeral is taking place this lunchtime of a man from Birmingham who died 18 months ago after being detained by police. 29-year-old Kingsley Burrell was arrested under the Mental Health Act in March last year. He died four days later in hospital. Well, our special correspondent Peter Wilson is in Hansworth for us this lunchtime. Peter, what's happening now? Well, the funeral service here at the Hampstead Road Baptist Church is just about to conclude. There's been music, poetry and eulogies. As you said, Kingsley Burrell died 18 months ago. Police were called to um, a street in, in Winston Green. He himself had phoned for assistance. Um, he was later detained under the Mental Health Act. Again, police were called later when there was a disturbance at the hospital unit. He, was, he appears to have been injured during uh, that process. He was later, later taken to the Queen Elizabeth Hospital and he died there. But despite the 18 months, we've had no official cause of death. Lots of questions, few answers. And before this service began, I spoke to the minister here, Dorothy Rose. The hope is that whatever is done and whatever we are trying to achieve, it is done calmly and rationally. That the life of Kingsley is used not as a means of controversy, but rather as a means of making sure that something better comes out of this community. Peter, what has the Independent Police Complaints Commission had to say about the circumstances surrounding Kingsley's death? Well, that investigation still is ongoing and they are still waiting for medical reports. Some four police officers have been questioned under caution. But I'm also told that uh, Dorset police who are carrying out a lot of this investigation are talking to non-police officers as well. And the family say that although they're laying uh, Kingsley Burrell to rest, there will be no rest for them until they have justice. Peter Wilson, thank you very much.